Day two in Columbus, Ohio started out with the grueling 100s workout. In the team event, past games competitors CrossFit Mayhem, who after a quiet day one, shot up the leaderboard. They pulled into the lead with the chest of bar pull-ups and pulled away in the dumbbell snatch, winning the event. CrossFit Lower Town took the deadlift box jump workout with a time of 8.03, but neither of those teams' top finishes were enough to earn them a spot on the overall leaderboard. CrossFit New Albany has a firm grasp on the top spot going into day three, but second and third are a close race. CrossFit Naptown is in second, but only by a point. Indy North Black is hot on their heels in third. In the women's competition, Jennifer Smith came into the day at the top, and she finished event four the same way. The first time individual competitor made her move in the dumbbell snatches, taking the lead and taking her first first place finish. After the marathon, on to the sprint. Former games competitor Michelle Kinney came into the event looking to make a move, and she did. A three minute, 21 second time gave her a first place finish, even with a missed rep on the last box jump. Coming into this weekend, I knew what I needed to do on this workout. I needed to finish really well in my strong ones, and so I knew what I was capable of. I just knew I was going to have to go crazy for three plus minutes and not stop, and that was my goal. Smith sits in the lead at the end of day two, but a flip-flop for second and third place. Lindsay Smith's 17th place finish in the deadlift box jump workout pushes her back to third. Michelle Kinning now jumps into second overall. The race to qualify for the games is wide open in the Central East men's division. Only six points separate second from fifth place. What's not in question, who's number one? Rich Froning showed no weakness, pacing himself through the trying 100s. He kept an unrelenting pace all the way through the dumbbell snatches. With a time of 19.05, he strolled to a new event record. Talk about three-peat. I mean, obviously, you're going into this to win. You're going to the games, hopefully, to win that. Is there a more pressure as a two-time games champion? Um, yes and no. There's always pressure. I don't like to lose. Um, but in the end, you know, it doesn't really it matters. But yeah, I want to win. Another man who wanted to win and needed to, Marcus Hendren. The former games athlete came into the deadlift box jump workout in eighth place. His time of 335 gave him a first place finish he needed. At the end of the day, Rich Froning sits securely in first place. Dan Bailey is in second thanks to two top five finishes today, but just one point behind him sits Scott Panchik in third place overall.